But uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, next, we're going to cover Elenko's buff bar. Just going to slide this over here, right click it, change its scale down to 70% because at 100% it is way too big. So at 70% it will be roughly the size of your mini map. And uh, that's good for me. And I put it right underneath the mini map. And Zomai God buffs, we'll get to this in a moment, but we're going to slide it down here. And this is spell timers, it's from Forte. We'll touch that in a second as well, just sliding it over here. And uh, this is also from Forte, it's a cooldown timer, we'll get to that in a second. So as you can see, the uh, UI is shaping up here. Up here we have our targeting charms, it allows you to mark things with real big ease just by clicking things. But it's too big. So we're going to go down here, change its scale, and I actually like it to be horizontal. So if you go to presets, horizontal, set layout, and then I drag it over here. Put it on top of that, right click the ready button, drag it over, shrink the ready button a little bit. You have to right click the ready button to move it, you can't like left click like a lot of the other things here. So, now as you can see we're cleaning up everything pretty nicely. We have uh, what's called X Pearls up here, it's a party frame add-on and it's my favorite. It shows you all your buffs below you with timers on them if they have time and your debuffs and it will also highlight your buffs on or your debuffs on enemies and bigger icons so you can keep track of your dots in such that way even though we have another add-on for that but uh you can use that for paladins to keep track of whether or not you have your judgment up or if it's someone else's judgment who's stealing your healing uh anyways so if you type slash x pearl you'll bring up the menu and this allows you to customize it. As with most of the add-ons in this thing, there's a huge amount of customability. This is way too much to cover in just a quick setup, so I'm just going to show you to disable raid. Right now, uh, it comes with a raid frame add-on, and it shows both pets and raid groups. I disable both because we already have a raid frame add-on called Voodoo. So, just disable those, and you'll be happy. Um, also, sometimes it spreads out the uh, nameplates here. If you just target yourself, you can drag the target and then the target of target. And you can also adjust your pet and pet target frames. Anyways, hit X on that. So, now uh, what I want to cover real quick is Spell Timer. It automatically has Souls Tracker, Souls Shard Manager, Spy, spy, uh, spy Shards, or Shard Spy, and Hellstone and Summon Assist enabled by default. If you click these options, you can just scroll to them and disable each one individually. I have already disabled them for the sake of this article. So, we're going to do that. Hit X on that. Um, spell timers will come up down here. It just shows you what buffs you have on you at the moment. It is a very, very, very useful add-on. And uh, it just keeps track of raid debuffs and buffs. Now, it will not show very many that I have right now, but it shows Blood Fury. It shows its time. It's great for keeping track of dots as Shadow Priest and Affliction Locks because you can show it will show you which mobs have which dots and how long they have to expire. It grows upwards, so I put it at the bottom of the screen. Um, that's a great place for it as it will get pretty big in big situations, especially in raids where there's lots of raid buffs. You can customize it by right-clicking it, and it will take you to the options. And you just got to scroll down here to Spell Coloring, and uh, you can enable and disable whichever buffs you'd like. All right. So, overall, that's most of it. We only have one more thing to talk about, and that's Voodoo. Voodoo has options for healing, and for you healers, if you type VD options, you can go over here to Spells, and Spells will automatically assign a lot of buttons for you. This guy cannot heal at all, so he has, like, no buttons assigned. Um, but on healers, it will automatically set up for you. It is a horrible setup by default. I have no idea why they choose what they choose for some of them. But you can simply type in spells, like say Shadow Bolt, and it will recognize the spell. It also recognizes macros and uh, commands for its own self. But uh, as the main part, you don't need that. Anyways, uh, this can just be used very quickly for say tanks with uh, paladins to uh, use their righteous defense on a raid member who has aggro. Voodoo will actually show you little lines on both sides with red little greater than and less than symbols to show you who has aggro, so you can just quickly press that on them to taunt off. For healing, you can left click to flash heal, right click to holy light, um, mouse 4 button if you have one of those to a holy shock, and all sorts of other features. 
it is a great add-on. Um, if you want to go more into that yourself, you can. I'll cover one option though, which is under, I believe, panels, hot icons. You can assign hot icons for everything in the game. It's crazy. They're positioned around the squares exactly how it looks. And uh, you can choose icons rather than these glossy squares that will show up, which will actually show you miniature icons of each spell that is being applied. Of course, that's useless if you have a small screen and you cannot see the icons. But overall, this is the basic raid setup that I set up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments in either the YouTube video or on the curse page. Thank you very much.